Okay, here's an example of using Dijkstra's algorithm. And we're going to find shortest paths, or least weighted paths, between vertices on a weighted graph. For this particular example, I'm going to start with vertex A. And I'm going to find the shortest path to any other vertex here. And particularly, I'm interested in G, but we'll find all the others as we go. So I start with A, and of course, to get from A to A, uh, you don't travel anywhere. So the shortest distance here is a 0, and I put a little subscript A because that's where I'm starting from. Right here in this column, I'm going to put, uh, in each step we go to, I'm going to include another vertex. And when we get all the vertices in here, then we know we're done. So let's look now at where I can get to from A. I can get to B with a length of, of 3. I can get to C with a length of 5. I can get to D with a weight of 6. And all of these will have the subscript A, because that's where I'm coming directly from. Notice I've, I've made them black instead of blue. Blue are the ones that we're done with and completed. And we know that the path isn't going to get any shorter than that. Uh, directly from A, I can't connect to E, F, or G. Those are going to take more steps. So right now, those are considered to be infinite or unreachable. At least uh, directly from A, they are unreachable. So I've completed the first step in the algorithm. Now I'm going to look at these numbers that I have here, and I'm going to choose the smallest one, vertex B. And I'm going to include that in my completed set now. And so I'm going to turn that number 3 with a subscript A blue so that I know it's finished. And now I go down here to vertex B and I see where else can I get to uh, maybe with cheaper weight than what I've used before. Well, I can get to D and it's only going to be a total weight of 5, 2 more than this 3 to get there. My previous shortest path to D was a 6. So I'm going to shorten that to 5 and I came from vertex B. So any subscripts here on numbers that I change are going to be vertex B. All right, from B, I really can't get anywhere else besides D. We haven't already been. So the rest of these are going to stay the same as they were in the previous step for now. Now, I need to look over all these numbers in the completed row here. And two of them are five. Those are the lowest ones doesn't matter which one I choose, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose C next in my included set. And these blue things just get copied from before, and now this one gets turned blue. And now the question is, from C, is there anywhere else I can get to in a cheaper way that's what, than what is already written down? Well, um, so I got to here with 5. Going to D would be a total weight of 7. But we already have a weight of 5 there, so I'm going to leave that alone, because 5 is less than 7. Now I can get directly to E, and it's going to cost me another weight of 6 added to the 5. So that's an 11. I can also get to F with an additional 3. So that's a total of 5 plus 3 is 8. And I can get to G directly from C with an additional weight of 7. So 7 plus 5, that gives me a weight of 12. And the subscript C was put on each of those, because that's where I just came from directly. All right. Now this row is done. So I look this over, and 5 is the next lowest one. So I copy the blue stuff down. And I'm going to include vertex D in my completed set. And I'm going to turn this one blue so that it's finished. Now from D, the only place I can get that I haven't been is to F. And I have been to F. So this is the only edge we haven't considered. It has a weight of 9. And if I add 9 on to 5, that's going to be higher than the 8 that I already have there. And so these things are just going to stay the same. I can't get in an, a cheaper way at all to, uh, to E, F, or G. Now looking over this completed row, 8 is the smallest number. So I copy down the, the completed part. And I'm going to include vertex F now in my complete set. Turn that 8 blue and see if there's anything new I can update with uh, shorter paths than what we've had so far. 
Well, to get to E would add 5 more onto the 8. That would be 13, and I already have 11, so I'm going to leave that alone. To get from F to G is going to add a length of 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, so that's better than the 12 that I had. So I'm going to put that down. And now I'm done with that step. The next number that I would add would be G with a length of 9. And uh, getting back to F would cost more than the 8 that's there. And the 8 is already done anyway. Getting to E would have added a length of 2 more. And that would be equal to 11. So there's no more improvements that can be made here. And so we're technically done. And what we have in the bottom row here now is the shortest distance from A to each one of these vertices. So shortest distance from A to B is 3, from A to C is 5, from A to D is 5, from A to E is 11, from A to F is 8, and the shortest distance from A to G is 9. And if we want to see exactly where it came from, we look at these subs subscripts. So this path of 9 came to G uh, through F, just previous to G. F came from C, and C came from A. So if I start at A, go to C, and then to F, and then to G, that's my shortest path. So A, C, F, G is what gives me that length of 9.